Definitely, Eric. And right now, Discovery Park is buzzing with people setting up their merch tents, the food tents, the drink tents. You can see one of the four stages right there over my shoulder. And this is going to be a busy weekend here in Sacramento because festival organizers say they're expecting over 160,000 people to be here over the next four days. Again, this is year 11 for Aftershock here in Sacramento. And like you said, there's expected to be large economic impacts. The headbang and rock and roll setup is nearly ready for the four day Sacramento Music Festival that is Aftershock. Aftershock 2023 doors will open tomorrow at noon and we've been waiting all year to come back to Sacramento. Organizers say they expect around 40,000 people to head out to Discovery Park every day for the next four days to see some of the biggest acts in rock and roll. They say 65% of attendees are expected to be from outside of Sacramento. Last year, city officials say Aftershock had an economic impact of nearly $30 million for the Sacramento region. And this year, they expect a similar outcome. I think what we're finding is these music fans, when they're coming into the market for these festivals, they're really excited to discover Sacramento. You know, maybe they're staying out a little late the night before, and then they're searching for that breakfast place to recover the next morning. Um, they're doing their research before they come here. They're maybe downloading our podcast, checking out our blog. They really want to get to know Sacramento. This is their home for a few days of music. And what's really fun and exciting is that they come back then year after year, and they're not just fans of the festival, they're fans of Sacramento. With Aftershock this weekend and the country music festival Golden Sky next weekend, Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg says the vision for music and festivals in the capital city continues to grow. This is just the beginning. We are going to be our own version of South by Southwest over the course of time. And people will look back and say that the city, as a full partner with uh, the entertainment industry, um, that we planted the seeds for something that really grew big. Festival organizer Danny Wimmer Presents says more than 100 bands will perform on four stages during the four-day event. And with massive names like Guns N' Roses, Korn, Tool, and Avenged Sevenfold headlining, they're asking people who want to go to get their tickets ASAP. Yeah, I mean, this event just continues to grow and grow. We started out as a one-day festival with probably 12,000 people, and here we are um, expecting 160,000 people out here this weekend. So um, it is the West Coast's biggest rock festival. And, um, you know, we're going to set records again this year. We are sold out on Friday. We are almost sold out on Saturday, and our weekend passes will also be sold out soon. Guys, back out here live. Three things super important. First, the free water bar right here. You bring your water bottle, get your free water. It's supposed to be in the 90s this next four days coming up, so you want to make sure you're staying cool, finding shade, making sure you got your water. Number two, traffic is supposed to be tough, pretty tough around here, around Discovery Park over the next four days. If you're on I-5, expect some traffic right here on Richards Boulevard, Garden Highway exits. Those are expected to be backed up a bit again for the next four days. Last thing, Festival organizers say if you want some more information, they're asking that you download the Aftershock app or head over to the website. You can find links to both of those on our website at fox40.com. Live from Discovery Park, covering local news that matters, I'm Zach Boweto, Fox 40 News.